For more interesting videos please do subscribe and turn on bell icon. Let's get started. So the film is based on the future. When an explosion occurs close to the sun, solar storms happen. They are also having a negative impact on the environment. They emit dangerous rays that move towards the earth. The world was destroyed. Nothing was left there. There are no animals, plants, or humans. 99% of humans were killed. Only 1% of humans were left there. Luckily, they were good and qualified humans. They want to recover the world. They start planning for this. They think that humans are less and humans can't do this. To recover the world again. So they think of making robots. This plan proves good. A few times, many robots were ready. They have super abilities but two things were observed while making them. The first is that they will not harm any human. Because humans were in the phase to bear more loss. Because they were wise like humans. The second rule was not to make any other robot themselves. If this happens, robots will replace humans. These robots become developed. They were making tall buildings which are beneficial for humans. They were also doing the basic tasks of the humans. It means these robots, humans were happy. That their robots are doing good work. But after some years a fault appears in these robots. And they stop working. At a time when it wasn't raining there, they made it rain with the help of these robots. But now there is nothing like this. Humans were also worried because there were many incomplete tasks. They come out of that place. They make a place of their own and start living there. They were thinking that there is a fault in robots. So they are not comfortable with us. It may create a problem further. So they start destroying those robots. Now the scene changes and we see a police officer. He is going somewhere. He hears some strange voice. When he goes there and sees there was a robot sitting in the dark. A yellow robot. It is trying to recover itself. It was looking innocent and it requested the police officer not to kill me. Let me recover myself. But the police officer ignores it and shoots it. Don't know why this scene is emotional. Then we see a man whose dog was dead, he also had a robot among them. He calls the robot company to take their robot back. It has killed my dog. He also asks them for money, the insurance money. They ask what kind of insurance. Give me my money. A man named Jack goes there. He says to the man don't worry we will test the robot before. He lifts a knife and starts throwing it in his hand but before it, that robot holds the knife. Jack says that our robot is fine and it couldn't harm anyone. We will not give you money. Stop blaming our robots. Saying this, he leaves. Going home, he meets his wife. They were expecting a baby. The next morning, Jack receives a message. That we have received a destroyed robot and they call him there instantly. When Jack goes there he sees that it was that yellow robot. That was shot by a police officer. A girl there tells him that the parts of this robot were replaced. That's why this robot was trying to repair itself. But it was shot. Jack feels this thing is bad. He tells his friend, his friend says that why are you interfering in the police's task. Jack says that I am shocked that why they destroyed the robot. Jack's friend says that this is not your task. Focus on your life and what you have to do, Jack says that I am irritated with this city. Transfer me to the other side of the sea. It is also revealed to us that Jack has some memories with sea. And further, we will know about it. After that, Jack goes to a construction site. It was in an advanced city. He asks the worker there. Why are you destroying robots? The workers tell him that these robots are useless now. There are faults in them. We throw them to the other side of the city at a dirty place. The people of that place take them. With it, we are also ordered to shoot at first sight any human. Maybe they will make their own robots. And they are separate from our world. When Jack sees that the people here are shooting others he feels bad. Jack goes to the other side and he sees many robots. It seems like those robots are scared. Jack tries to go near one of the robots to talk to it. But before it, that robot sets itself on fire, Jack becomes depressed. He returns to the company. He comes to know a nuclear battery is found from a robot. Its benefit was that the robots can work without charging for hours. It wasn't an ordinary battery. Jack's friend, who was the leader, orders all to find out about the battery. He asks Jack if you want to transfer to another place. It means the shore of the sea. So in return, you have to do this nicely. Find out where this nuclear battery comes in this robot or the others. Who inserted it? Now they all were doing this work. To find out, but Jack wasn't understanding anything. He again goes to that worker. He says that it is not done by a human. 
Maybe a robot has changed the setting of this robot. Because it is not allowed for any robot to destroy itself. And you are telling me that the robot has set itself on fire. This thing is very strange. Jack returns home. He tells his wife that maybe we will be transferred from there. Maybe we will leave this city and go far from here. His wife says that how is this possible? I am conceiving. At this time how can we go to another place? He tries to make his wife understand that I don't want to live in this city. Fake people live here. They don't care about anyone's feelings. His wife says that doesn't irritate me. Jack leaves from there but he is still thinking. The yellow robot shot. What was it trying to do secretly there? Why did it want to repair itself? Jack goes to the place where that yellow robot was shot. He goes there and checks. He finds that nuclear battery there. That was hidden by that robot there. Jack didn't understand where these nuclear batteries came from. He tells this to the police officer who shot that robot. And shows him the battery, he says that let me take you to a woman. Maybe she knows it. When they go there, they see a female robot there. It looked beautiful and clever. The surprising thing is that the settings were changed in it. And those two rules were removed. It means the rule not to harm humans and not to make other robots. It means that female robots are dangerous for them. Jack asks the owner of the robot who is its creator. It says that I don't know. Hearing it, the police officer comes in anger. The police officer shoots the robot's leg and moves from there. He tells Jack that I have done this because now this robot is injured. Now its owner will take it to its creator to repair it. We will follow it. Jack says that yes, I believe that the creator of this robot will buy this battery and will tell us. Where did it come from? The police officer says that you have to give me the profit. We will divide it then they start following it. Its car stops in front of a factory. They go inside but the lady standing inside points a gun at them. But Jack shows her the nuclear battery. The lady asks them, from where did you get this battery? Jack says leave it, tell me are you the person who can get this blue robot? That lady says yes, there is a purpose behind it. As we humans made this thing in the start it was not good at the start. But we keep making it, it is made good. We have made these robots. Don't you think that if we allow them to make robots like them, they will make better robots. There is no other purpose behind it. That lady talks to Jack nicely. Jack leaves from there but before leaving he tells that lady where she will get that robot. The robot had that nuclear battery. He comes from there and he tells his friend Robert everything. As word spread, Jack was tasked with resolving the situation as quickly as possible. Jack again goes to that lady. That lady tells him that I will go there at your given address. I have installed that robot system in this blue robot. It becomes clever. It heals itself. So I was right that robots can make other robots. They were talking, the door knocked. As that lady opened the door the kids were outside. They shoot her. Jack escapes from there and comes out. He was sitting in a car with that blue robot. Some evil people start chasing them. But Jack kills them. Because their car collapses. Here, Jack gets faint the next morning. When he wakes up he sees that he is injured. Before he woke up, that blue robot was repairing itself. Seeing it, Jack becomes astonished because it has many abilities. With it, he again sleeps. After some time, he feels that someone is dragging him. That blue robot and three more robots were taking him somewhere. They were in a desert. Jack says to those robots that they have to move towards the city. But those robots ignore him. Jack moved forward but they were also following him. Now because Jack was injured so he falls down. The blue robot makes him eat some insects. And makes him drink water. Because the robots want to save humans. It was their rule. Not to harm humans. After it, they move forward but Jack wants to return. He doesn't trust these robots. He says to those robots that I want water. He grabs something from his backpack when the robots are at a safe distance. He sends a sign to his boss that I am here. His boss comes to know his location. Jack's friend tells the police officer to go to that location and rescue Jack. The police officer arrived there. Jack knows it and he says to the robots that I want to go to the washroom. Stop here, and he makes this excuse and moves forward. He gives the sign with a flare gun. But those robots also see that sign. They come to know that Jack wants to escape from here. When he again comes back to tell them to stop here I will come. Those robots ignored him because they knew. Jack in anger drops their batteries. Meanwhile, the police officer also comes there. Coming there, he points a gun at Jack. In fact, he comes there to take those nuclear batteries. 
He takes those batteries and after it, he starts shooting the robots. But before it, Jack shoots at him with the flare gun. Due to it, that police officer dies. The man with him gets scared and runs from there. Then Jack sees that the robots are repairing themselves. While taking out some tools of the other robots. Then at night, they moved into a cave and the robots were eating some insects. Jack asks them will you help me to go to the city. I promise to reach the city and I will return your batteries. The female robot says yes, why not. In the morning, we will search for a car and move towards the city. The next day, we saw the companion of the police officer who ran from there. He goes to the company and gives them all the batteries. Tell them what had happened. Meanwhile, Jack's friend also comes there and they start talking about the previous robot. That we have installed those functions in the other robots while seeing its system. That they will not harm humans and will not make other robots. It was helpful. They were also surprised that till today, humans weren't able to remove those rules from the robot system. Then they talk about those robots who don't have these rules. They were worried about them. That maybe they can harm them. They plan to search for those robots. They order Jack's friend to bring those robots here. On another side, we see that Jack's daughter comes to this world. Jack's wife was worried about his husband because he wasn't there. She comes to know that the police are searching for Jack and these robots. On another side, we see Jack when he wakes up the other robots were not there. The only blue robot was there. It tells Jack that other robots are going to search the way. It asks Jack that I felt like we were only born but when I saw that you kill that police officer. After it, I want to ask you, will we also be dead? Jack says that how would you know, here Jack misses his wife. He knows that his baby also arrives. Now they move forward, meanwhile, Jack sees someone. It looked like a human. But as Jack takes off cloth from it, it was a robot. Its name was a blue robot. It was the real blue robot. The female robot only has blue hair that's why they were considering it the blue robot. Jack gets shocked after seeing this blue robot. He goes inside the factory, he sees many parts of the robot there. As he comes out he sees that the other robots were making a blue robot. On the other side, Jack's friends were searching for him. So Jack thinks I should leave from here. He goes near a car but he sees that it has no function. It has no engine so he gets depressed. Seeing here and there he tells the other robots that there was a stream. There was water and greenery. But see what happened to it. The blue robot comes to him and says don't get depressed. It was the future of the world. In the future, humans will live with machines. You have to accept us. You have to agree that robots are not less than others. We can make ourselves. That's why our quantity is more and see this place is destroyed. We don't need water or greenery. We can live here. We will not irritate you, you can go. Just return our nuclear batteries. Jack returns their nuclear batteries. Then we see that Jack's friend arrives at the place where the dead body of that police officer was. Meanwhile, some people come there holding Jack's wife. Jack's friend says to leave this girl but they say. Why are you caring about her? Her family is also killed. Jack and her daughter are no more. They were lying and Jack's friend became aggressive after hearing it. He was about to shoot that man. But that man escapes and shoots Jack's friend and kills him. This was an emotional scene. The next morning, we see that Jack wakes up. The robots with Jack have made a new robot. There was that nuclear battery in it. And that was an advanced robot. With it, they prepare a new car for Jack. Seeing it, Jack becomes happy. Before going from there, Jack says to that blue robot that I didn't understand you. Forgive me for this. After it, he moves forward with the car. Moving forward he sees that his friend fell there. He was shot by those evil people. He goes near him but he was injured badly. But still alive. He tells his friend Jack that they have taken his wife to save her. On the other hand, the people were bringing Jack's wife outside. They were taking her somewhere. But the blue robot comes and stops them. They tell Blue Robot to just get out of their way. That Blue Robot says that no I will not obey you. Seeing it, those people get aggressive and they start shooting it. They also take out its system. Meanwhile, the female robot and Jack also arrive there. He shoots at them. Only one man left there who was the leader of those bad people. He was about to kill Jack but that robot comes and pushes that man. Due to it, Jack was saved and he instantly went to his wife. He lifts his daughter in his lap. He was very happy because here he saw his daughter for the first time. Meanwhile, that female robot also comes there and it seems that baby. 
After it, it says thanks to Jack and leaves from there. In the last scene, we see that Jack is happy with his family. Here he again sees his past flashbacks. Then we come to know that's why he has many memories of the sea. Because he spent his childhood here.